What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Winging It podcast. Andre, how you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing well. I mean, this has been a hectic week end, but I'm doing good. Yeah, um, you know what? And let me uh, make a couple of addressments because I forgot to say this last week. Um, rest in power to Sean Con- Sir Sean Connery and Alex Trebek. Uh, Alex Trebek passed away um, today at 80. Um, he was been fighting pancreatic cancer. I think most people know that because he came out on Jeopardy and straight up said he was going to fight it. Um, yeah. Sean Connery, he died last week. Um, I just want to say, you know, rest in power to both of those guys. Uh, Alex Trebek is one of my favorite game show hosts ever. Yeah. <laughs> I first saw him on Classic Connection and Jeopardy. So we used to watch that all the time. And um, Sean Connery, I mean, dude. The original James Bond. Yeah, and the, the list of movies he's been in that just be like, bruh, he, he, he was the man, dude, hands down. So uh, rest in power to both of those and their families. So um, they are doing well in this time of bereavement. Um, other than that, let's get to these video games. So, okay, um, our good buddy, Mr. Phil Spencer, came out and they had a, um, and I want to say this, I found this article on purexbox.com. And so I want to get Andre's thoughts on this, that he said that, and I'm paraphrasing here, um, that don't be surprised if there are hardware droughts after this initial initial release. Now, um, I've been saying that because I know that their factories are in China. And China had had to go on, on, they had to go back on lockdown, I think, twice um, this summer because of the pandemic surging back again. So I want to get your thoughts on that because I've said before that this was a bad idea of them coming out right now. I'm like, they should have just pushed it back to March because that's when your fiscal year starts anyway. And you can make your money there. And plus, some of those games that you got that you had to delay to 2021, you don't have to delay them now. You can have them launch with your system. So I want to get your thoughts on this. Honestly, this is basically what was to be expected. <laughs> There's a shortage of workers. There's a shortage of time to be able to be there putting the stuff together. It, honestly, like anybody could have seen this coming. And the fact of the matter is we said it multiple times that this is not a good year to launch those platforms. That They should have waited until April March or April next year. Right after tax return season, right around where everybody's starting to pick themselves back up, which would likely be the case. But they chose not to do that. They still trudged on and said, okay, November, it has to happen in November. Even though 95% of those games that are going to be on the new platforms are also going to be on the PS4 and the Xbox One. So there's no reason to even put out the new hardware yet. None. None whatsoever. And yet they did it anyway, being hard-headed. And and in my opinion, it would be different if the fiscal year started in January. But the business fiscal year doesn't start till March. So all of that profit is going to be on March. And for the whole year till March 2022 instead of doing it in November where now because right now I, I I don't know how many units they're gonna have out in a while I know you don't because they have been tight-lipped about that all I know is some people got their um pre-orders some people didn't yep so and, and like and it's been back and forth about for both of them it hasn't just yeah. been one or the other it's been mm-hmm. both of them now, I, I am wondering this. Is this going to finally make Sony and Microsoft and even Nintendo put factories in the U.S. to have a North American base? So if this ever happens again, if there's another pandemic that comes up, they can at least have a spot in North America where they can actually try and say, OK, we can try and work through this way to have some stuff for we'll have more. Uh, hardware in the future. Do you think that'll happen? I think that's wishful thinking. I would hope that they would so that they could have a backup plan because there's plenty of 
manufacturing plants in the U.S. that they can use for what they what they would be doing. Yeah, but they just have to set up the contracts and get it done. And they actually have to pay people because that's one of the reasons why they're using other countries instead of America. They don't want to pay people, but that's that's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> that's just a, that's it's just an far unfortunate cheaper truth than the other way around. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's an unfortunate truth, but it's the truth nonetheless. Though I mean, if you have some factories over here, then it's not. It wouldn't be as hard, I can say, because you got to remember they not only do they have to get them from China, they still have to have them board a plane and come over here. And that means they got to take their time and get them through customs. And yep. But if you already have factories over here. In North America, you can handle all of North America, which is Canada, Mexico. You can handle all of North America, and you wouldn't have that problem initially. I know it's going to still be the custom situation between Canada and Mexico, but it's not as bad as you know having to come from China to to do all that. So, I mean, I I expected that. Um, that's why one of the first things I said when they kept saying this is going to drop in November, I'm like, I'm not even going to put myself through this stress. I'm not even going to because it's not worth it. To me, mm-hmm. it's not worth it because, like you said, everything's still coming out on every system. I don't, ex- I do not expect any like real, true, exclusive, exclusive, exclusive until like 2022. Yeah, like Microsoft said. Yeah, I, I don't expect that. I expect stuff to be available for you're going to see now they're not going to say it but you're going to see on the on the commercials on the trailers it's going to have PS4 and that little line PS5 you have Xbox One and that little line uh Series XS and PC and Switch if if it's going to to that so yep. that's what you're going to see and I have a PS4 Pro I have an Xbox One X I'm I think I'm good for a couple years at least um so I'm going to I'm just going to wait buy my time um because i i just don't like fast loading times is not a, a killer for me it, it really ain't mm. i mean the only the only game that really is a, egregious on the load times to me is dragon ball fighters that makes no sense <laughs> them load times make especially when the same company made blaze blue cross tag battle and it's damn near instantaneous <laughs> and we're uh guilty gear zerd yeah i'm this- like Loads extremely fast. And, y- and y'all couldn't patch fighters. <sighs> might have been, it might have been something that there was going down with. Uh... <laughs> I'm not even going. I'm not even going to try to push it. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. So, um, did see something very interesting that's probably going to piss some people off because it got me looking kind of sideways. So. When DC did their fandom thing, they showed Gotham Knights. Now, when they showed it, they showed four-player co-op. They showed that. Or at least what looked like it. Yeah, because they showed uh, Batgirl, um, uh, Jason Todd's Red Hood, they showed Damian Wayne, and they showed Red Robin, if I'm memory serves me correctly. So not only did they show it in the trailer, they showed it in the seven-minute deep dive. Uh... Got an article last week um, <laughs> via Push Square, and basically, it's not four player co op anymore, it's two player. Your thoughts? <laughs> I mean, to me personally, it doesn't bug me so much, mm-hmm. but I, I can see a group of people that was like excited for this game, and it was like, yeah, we'll get a squad together, we'll be play for a few hours, gonna run the game, and they'd probably be mad now. Yeah, because I think the re- the thing that that kind of gets me is if you're gonna if you're gonna let us play as the Bat Family, it's probably a good idea to let us play four player co op. At least four. I yeah, mean, at it's least like four. It's like eight members, eight nine yeah. members of the Bat Family that people recognize. <laughs> I mean, I, now they didn't say whether it was like a big. Uh, if there was a big issue as to as to why they couldn't do four player, but I, I thought it was just weird that they said that because normally it's the other way around. It's like, oh, you know, uh, like for instance, uh, Streets of Rage. I think um, online it's only two player, but couch is four. Yeah. So I, I was thinking it was probably something like that, but they they haven't, or at least the article that I read did not say 
what the issue was. It just basically it kind of hinted or implied that it was probably it wasn't running correctly with four players, but it ran correctly with two. Something that they couldn't figure out to get it up to. They could probably do three. And it was like, but three just don't work. Yeah. Unless you can add in a fourth person. And it was like, if we're going to do it, we might as well do two. Yeah. Which I don't know. Now, does that make me not want to play the game? No, that doesn't. It, it doesn't. So, <laughs> but because I'm pretty sure there's, there's going to be a single player mode where you can like, play by yourself if that's the case. But um, I, I'm still looking forward to the game because the game just looks amazing. And that deep dive did sell me on it. The, the deep dive they did, that's what sold me on it. So I'm like, okay, if you're giving me a world like this and I get to pick my Robin, or I get to pick my pick my member of the Bat family, and the story looked like it's going to be a good story, hey, dude, I'm all in for it. I just thought it would be weird because, like you said, I wouldn't mind having a four-player team to go take on the Penguin or uh, Mr. Freeze or, God forbid, if they put Joker in this. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to be in this. Joker. <laughs> Joker's going to be everywhere, Blake. Like, especially if they want to use like story bits between him and uh, him and Jason Todd, and the, or him and Barbara Gordon, like and their personal yeah. feelings toward him, like Jeez. the uh, three Jokers comics that recently came out. Yeah, the um, what the the, the three Jokers. Yeah. yeah, I don't like how that ended, but I'm gonna leave that alone. That, yeah, that's neither here nor there because I didn't <laughs> like that ending either. I'm like, really. I, I got. The, I understood the purpose behind it, but it's like when they, side note, when they did that that story, and the uh, the Joker War story that are going on, like they should have had the three Jokers story first, and then let it play into the Joker War story. I agree. Then everything would have made perfect sense. I agree. But you got two stories that are seemingly separate continuities, and but that are, are at also, odds with each other. That are at odds with each other, but they also stem from almost the same point. So I'm like, y'all wasn't thinking this planning through. That's no, I, I hate when they do that. I hate, especially if it's an event comic, in which that is an event comic. Both of them are. That's you the supposed to, you supposed to know your ending, or you supposed to have an idea of what you're trying to get to. You're not supposed to be making this up on the fly. But that's neither here nor there. We'll drop that. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> but. Um, I'm, I'm still looking forward to it. So leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Are you guys still looking forward to Gotham Knights, even though it's probably going to be two player? Now, if they say they can patch four player back in at some point, which I think they probably will be able to if they figure it's, it out. It's, fast it's probably one of those. It might be a stop gap because they're trying to figure out how to fix it. It could just be an, an engine issue where like the data is clogging the game up. And if yeah. that's the case, I would I would definitely prefer them figure out what the hitch is first. And put it in there afterwards. Like, and, like I've been hoping for Lizard Cube and Dying Mew to figure out what Streets of Rage for, so it can actually be four players online. But yeah. and that's that's a that's a good thing. Because my thing is, I'm thinking the same way. Because if this is one of those situations, like the Cyberpunk situation, where a lot of people got mad that they delayed it, but the delay was because the issue was with the new generation consoles, not the. Yep. The stuff they're working on now with the PS4 Pro. The PS4 Pro and the Xbox One was fine with it. It was PS5 and Series X and S that had the that where the issue was happening. So I'm wondering Coding if that's changes. what's happening. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's what's happening with Gotham Knights. Because when they did show it at Phantom, that was on PS4 Pro. Mm. That was on PS4 Pro. So I'm wondering if that's where the issue was happening. Hopefully they can figure it out and then just patch it back in. Because I'm thinking that's what's probably going to happen. Because that game, to me, looks like it's meant to be played multiplayer. That's yeah. Just what, what it looks like. That's what it was designed for anyway. So, um, got a question. Because we get a lot of demos. Um, as gamers, we get a lot of demos in various shops and whatnot. So, um, we know Capcom is doing Monster Hunter Rise for the Switch. So, uh, after playing through the Hyrule Warriors demo and playing through a couple other demos, I was like, you know what? I wonder if Monster Hunter Rise is getting a demo, and Capcom would be smart to do that since you haven't had, uh, to, since this is probably be like the this is like a different type of Monster Hunter game that we're used to, than what you guys had in the past. And also, my question is: Should demo playthroughs carry over to the main game if there are going to be no real changes to the beginning of the game? 
Yeah, I'm not talking about a situation like Final Fantasy 15 where they gave us a demo and then changed the whole doggone demo when <laughs> the game dropped. Because the what you played in the demo was not in the first 15, first hour of that game. They completely changed it. So, well, I I think that depends on what they're doing with the game. Because if it's like a situation like with Bravely Default, where you got a demo, but the demo led into the actual game, and it was just separate of the game, the main mm-hmm. game, but it led into the game. Or, yeah, like you said, where the demo was like the first part of the game, then yeah, the data should transfer in and people that played the the demo should get a bonus. As well as being able to continue from where they left off. As long as there's not going to be any drastic changes. Now, if they are going to flip the script and change everything around, no. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Not at all. Yeah, um, I, I, I can understand that. Um. And yeah, because the first, I want to say the first two Bravely defaults on um, the 3DS, you played basically the prologue chapter, and then yep. it went into your game. Now, this one they get they did for the Switch, they they don't start you at the beginning. They just plop you at the scene. They just let you play a level. Yeah, they don't that was because you. they were trying to figure out stuff with issues with yeah. the game. So, and that that's basically because basically they 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 used us as quality assurance and beta testers basically. But at least they did it for free. Yeah, at least they did it for free. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go complain about that. But um, yeah, the the first two, yeah, they they it was basically, and that's what um Hyrule Warriors is. Hyrule Warriors is basically the first chapter of the game, the prologue in the first chapter of the game, which you get you two um two missions, and then you got like two or three side missions, and then they show you a little bit about the game, and you get the the first whole part of it. So that so now you don't have to do that again if you go on and play it. Especially if you know you're gonna buy it, and um, I, I I did do a let's talk about this with my thoughts on the Hyrule Warriors demo, um, and I'm gonna go back and say this because I I did notice this because this was kind of like I don't want to say it's controversial, but it, it is in there. Like there are some frame rate issues on the Battle of High Hyrule Field portion of it, but they're not frame rate issues that I noticed on anything else in that demo. So I know there's going to be, I know Digital Foundry and all of them going to do all that, but like you can see it bad on the, on the, on the first battle, because if I can notice it, it's bad it, at times. It, it's, it, it was that bad, but I didn't notice it outside of that. So if you think it's not going to be patched, don't, they, they'll patch that. that yeah. that's, that, people are acting like really? it's not going to be patched. Like I, I hate when people act like that. Like that's not it's not something that can't be fixed, you know. And you're like, oh well, it's so close to release. That game don't come out to the twentieth. That's not close. Now it would be close to release if if the demo came out next week. Then you if you say, okay, yeah, this this kind of yeah. But they released that they released that demo last week, so they have like they they had this week, which I'm pretty sure. They saw on Twitter or whatever their social media was, Koei Tecmo and Nintendo that okay, look, we got problems with this, so we need to we need to address it. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be addressed. Because there are people sitting there saying, "Oh, I'm not buying it now." I'm like, "So you really think they're not going to fix it?" Um, hold, but you hold, bought hold, Skyrim. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> now we speaking of the same group of people that noticed all of the problems and issues with. Pokemon Sword and Shield, their illegally downloaded versions of the games that were unpatched and said that they were not going to buy the game. But then it went on to be the best selling Pokemon game yet. I'm saying I'm I'm gonna I'm go out on a limb the same here. For people. <laughs> I'm going out on a limb here and thinking how Warriors is gonna um probably crack two million before the end of the year. <laughs> well it's probably it's, it's probably gonna crack four by the end of the year. Let, let's be real here. We, yeah, we come so, into the holiday season. It ain't everybody do, is thirsty for more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild content. Yeah, now, now it ain't gonna be it ain't gonna do them po- them crazy ass Pokemon and Animal Crossing numbers. It ain't gonna do that. Nah. But it's it's gonna get like a good two, it, look. I'm looking somewhere million. between I'm looking somewhere between two point five and four million. Yeah, <laughs> do something between that because I'm like, bruh. Okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> yeah, because if anything, I've learned about from listening to gamers this year, 
as yeah. in, as opposed y'all, to the year before. Y'all, y'all exaggerate and lie y'all asses off. <laughs> no, but no. it ain't never been this bad. <laughs> it's 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 been bad in previous years, but it ain't never been like this. Like this year, where it's like this year is because everybody's stuck in the house. Yeah, so <laughs> so I was just sitting there like, okay, y'all, the the sales data and what y'all say it don't match up. <laughs> it, you know what? You know what I, I I liken it to? I liken it to when people com- constantly complained about uh, Smash Brothers Online, but I kept or kept complaining about Nintendo's online service. But every time I go online for Mario mm. Kart and Same Smash, on there. they're on it. And here's the thing. Some of them people, they done got rid of their YouTube channel. Some some of those people don't make videos anymore. Some of those people have went on tirades. But I'm like, how can you say that you don't, that this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, and boycott, boycott, boycott. But I see you, and it's been over a week, so you're not using the free trial. <laughs> been over a week. It's been about a year. <laughs> unless you unless you unregistering your switch every time <laughs> every seven days. Even that wouldn't work because yeah, they, so, they still got your system serial number. So, bro, my, yeah. So that's that's where I, where I'm at with that. I'm like, look, it it's weird, but I'm like, it it's not something that it's not something that can't be addressed it, it can be addressed and it will be addressed because i remember uh fire Emblem warriors had the same problem that it got addressed within the first month heck the first the first hyrule warriors had the same problem when it was on the wii yeah. u mm-hmm. and that got instantly patched i don't like it's gonna get fixed so all these declaration i hate declarations god i hate declarations <laughs> but that's why i hate declarations because it's like it, to me i just feel like they're insincere and they're just like I'm saying this just so I can prove how cool I am. I, I don't know what it is, but yeah. But as far as declarations are concerned, Activision has made a declaration that's sure to piss off people in the gaming industry. But, <laughs> but it's just like just like we, when EA talked about how much they made on DLC, and people got mad, but they kept buying the DLC. This is the same problem. So Activision, and I got this article off a of Screen Rant. Activision made 1.2 billion dollars. Off of microtransactions in three months. So you think microtransactions ain't is it going somewhere anytime soon? Well, they're getting worse. They at finna first, get hell of worse. It was, at first, it was just mobile. Now it is yeah. everywhere. They made one point two billion off of microtransactions in three months. I thought we weren't buying. I thought we weren't. I thought we weren't doing this. I thought we weren't doing microtransactions, gaming community. Some of us aren't. <laughs> I thought we weren't doing this, man. But some, some of us. Some of the not. people. Some of the some of the people that was complaining about it have to have been buying it because you don't make one point two billion dollars. And one of my favorite comedians said this about the Black Panther movie. He's like, "Look, you don't make one point three billion dollars, and racists ain't going to see your movie." You don't make one point two billion dollars, and people who complained about microtransactions ain't buying microtransactions. So, well, like a lot of them, a lot of them doing it, and then they'll say they're excusable. I'm doing it just because it's this game. It don't matter. Microtransactions, microtransactions. That's why I'm like, if you I, like, like the- uh, <laughs> how many people when Genshin Impact came out said they weren't going to spend no money on it and spent two, three hundred dollars on it because they, they were trying to get because they to get one character. How many, how many people, when Fire Emblem Heroes came out, said they weren't going to spend money on it, spent two, three, four hundred dollars on it trying to get certain characters? Because remember, remember that came out. We heard, like heard a report of what was a dude who spent like two hundred fifty, yeah, three hundred fifty dollars just and so he mad. Could get one character and he never got her. Yeah, and he was mad about it. He was <clears> trying to sue. I'm that like, was his fault. That was your fault. Nobody made you buy that. Like you did that, dude. It's the I'm, same thing. It, it's it's one of those situations. It's not going to go anywhere because people keep doing it. So, do I think microtransactions are right? No, I think they I think it's messed up. Honestly, I mean, DLC I never really had a problem with because the way I view DLC is DLC is probably content they wanted to put in the game but they didn't have time. Like back in the day, um like 
perfect example. When Wind Waker was being made, they had to cut two islands out because they had to make they had to make their release date. Those uh, the, and those ended up those dungeons ended up being in a uh, Twilight Princess, just repurposed. Yep. Just repurposed, but they were they were meant for uh, Wind Waker. So I mean that happens. So, but now there's a way for people to do that. They're like, okay, we could just use it as DLC. We'll probably just charge whatever for it and put it in a pass and they they'll that way we can have time to to do what we need to do to it and to put it in there you yeah. can choose to buy it or not nobody's making you buy it that's that was my thing with dlc same thing with microtransactions but microtransactions to me are a little bit worse because perfect example um and and this isn't like really a microtransaction thing but i view it as the same thing because most microtransactions are this Dead or Alive Six. <laughs> I was going look. I was already headed there to Lisa. You're on the same so, page. You don't get like characters in their DLC. <laughs> you get you, you get like you get like three characters and like eighty costumes. Yeah, and now the DLC for them is like it's ninety something bucks, but the costumes and that's usually what you pay for when microtransactions. You pay for cosmetic stuff and weapons, usually. Or you have to grind to make uh, and get those things. So some people just don't want to grind; they just pay for it. Hence the hence the issue with the microtransaction. Um, but I think it's a lot, of, and we are getting a lot more free to play games. So like Genshin Impact, because I didn't know Genshin Impact was going to be free to play until right before it released. I thought it was going to be an actual RPG, like they were touting it. Until it released, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, this is free to play." I'm like, "Oh shit." <laughs> well, <laughs> there goes my enthusiasm. Even though I played a few minutes of it, I, well, I played like I don't want to say a few minutes. I want to play about. I want to say I played about five or six hours of it. It's not bad, but I can see how people will be able, will get bored with this very quick because the dungeons are all short. They're not long. Yeah, they they're, are extremely short. They, they're ridiculously easy they the puzzles are like they're not puzzles it's more like notice <laughs> this thing and take care of it real quick and yeah. we're done and we're done yeah so yeah. is it a breath of the wild clone hell no, no not in any way. <laughs> hell no a breath of the wild clone no i mean i love the art style. i'm digging the art style but yeah other than that i mean like no nah, no no. Now they were probably inspired by it. Mi- Mi- yeah, Mihoyo yeah. was probably inspired by it, but yeah, they yeah, definitely it, were. It's not no. But they're, um, they're the same ones that made that mobile game uh, Onkai Impact. They they love that word Impact. They need to stop using it. But, yeah, yeah, that's kind of. <laughs> but weird. they were the ones that made that, and they used a very similar art style. It was it looked a lot more hand drawn when they did that game on mobile, and Genshin Impact just looks a little bit more fluid, like Breath of the Wild does. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. But once again, I put that onus on the player. Like, if you want to buy, if, if you find value in it, then by all means. But don't think don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon because people keep mm-hmm. doing it. So it's not going to go anywhere. No, nah, it ain't. I mean, they, if, as long as people keep paying for it, they're going to keep making it. And yeah. I can't really blame them because it's a business, not a charity. They got look. They got to make money one way or the other, and they work with what model they feel is best for them. Yep. So if you if you like free to play games, understand that they're gonna have stuff where it's gonna cause for microtransaction. Now, if you're a parent, you might want to block your kids from being able to just use mm. your credit card to, to buy yeah. stuff because that that has happened on a couple situations. That's why that um, situation in Germany got so heated because you're like, look, man. And part of it was that as well. Like, you need to be a little a, bit more personally responsible with your stuff. Yeah. So it is what it is. But on the bright side, um, Michael Pagda, <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Nintendo's profits went up by a lot. So, so you still think they yeah. don't? Because you don't understand it. I, I'm like. How do you not understand the concept? If you had a tablet that you could plug into your TV, you'd understand that concept. It's essentially the same thing. So what's not to understand about I can pull my switch 
out of the dock and, and play it, it on its own. Yeah. And take or, it anywhere I want it. Or or, or <laughs> stop playing, play it, and bring it home and put it in the dock and continue playing. I, I don't know what's so difficult to understand about that. I don't know what's so difficult to understand about the about why people like that idea and that concept. I really don't get why that's so difficult to put together when you can possibly understand why there are so many people trying to now make portable gaming PCs that have the controller built in. You could understand that, I'm very certain. But you can't understand why Nintendo's hybrid concept would work when there are other people that are literally attempting to do the exact same thing. It's not hard to figure out. It's just one idiot that don't want to use their brain. How are you a securities analyst, bro? <laughs> like, how? And I'll leave it at that. Because I'm like, dude, I... Every time you open your mouth, you get proved wrong every single time. Has he, been, right, has he ever been right about anything? A couple times. A couple. Not very many. At least now when it comes down to gaming. He's he the first one opening his mouth and he's the first one getting upset that people call him out on this BS. I'm sorry, bro. Nah, you just, you just get it wrong. And that's us being nice about it. So, Look, all man, right, so he's he's more wrong than my random guesses on Twitter. And your random guesses wind up being right. I told you you need the damn trademark that. But yeah, <laughs> your random guesses be way more right. So yeah, but all right, we're at the freestyle moment of the show, people. So, Miles Morales, Spider Man. So we got a, we actually got a couple of um. Hold on, let me see if I can pull this up. This is on um, Push Square. So they actually show a, a a couple of stuff of it running on the PS5. Um, have you seen any of that? Yeah, I saw a few of them. I mean, hey, dude, it look it looks it beautiful. Looks good. Then again, then again, it, it would look beautiful anyway. But <laughs> just it, like the, I like I don't know why people push it so hard for graphics right now. Yeah, it, we've hit a point where nearly everything looks really good. Yeah, if they put some time into it. If they put some time into the art style, which um, who makes this Insomniac? Yeah, Insomniac is not a developer you have to worry about on that end mm. of the spectrum. You don't. So, no, don't. <laughs> I mean, yeah, th- their stuff's gonna look all right. This, this stuff's gonna look good. So, uh, yeah, I-, I saw a couple of it. Um, they even showed a trailer with uh, Peter, him and Peter together. I, I actually like that trailer. Um, they're getting into full pushing the Miles Morales. Uh, game um i hey i like i like what i'm seeing game looks good yeah I, I'm, I'm not gonna even front about that i like what i'm seeing um the only thing is that i'm pretty much concerned about is uh i did hear a rumor that the length is not it it's not very long but that's because initially it was supposed to be a dlc expansion so, well, it might just be point A to point B rather yeah. than the whole the whole game. Like it might be beginning to end. It's probably not that long, but if you include like side the, missions and yeah, stuff, yeah, and the because the the whole thing about the Spider Man experience on PS4 was it's open world. You, it's New yeah. York City, so maybe that's what that is. I'm hoping that's what it is. I'm, I'm hoping. But uh, another game I wanted to get your thoughts on since um since we're talking about games that are getting uh that that were you know uh an expansion and then you know got on their own stuff uh mass effect trilogy and andromeda is getting a uh I, I don't know if they call it a remake i, I don't know but yeah but be a mass remaster because they don't really re- need to remake it make it yeah so mass effect trilogy remaster is officially announced but it is skipping skipping the, the switch. switch but ea loves nintendo Again, <laughs> stupid move. Stupid move. 65 plus. 65 million plus, EA. But, uh, yeah, just going to give everybody FIFA 21. I'm sure they'll love that. It, it's a dumb move to not put it on the Switch. Sent li- literally, 
if they just you took, put three on the Wii U, <laughs> you put three on the Wii U. If they just took all of the games from the 360 version of Mass Effect, which I think that's what they're doing, but they just took all those and converted them over to the Switch and included the DLC. Sixty bucks, no one will complain. Yeah, cause I think that's exactly what they're doing. I think they're taking the 360 version because that's the best version. That's the best running version, and that's yeah. what they're doing. So I'm like, okay, um, why would you skip one of the hottest consoles? Why would you skip them again when you know you put you put three on a dead system? And I I want to say it sold all right. It but sold put, okay, but it it would have done better if it was a, the actual trilogy and all yeah. the games had the features. Yeah, I mean, you sold you sold three, but you, but people didn't get to play one and two. <sighs> but I, I I don't understand the thought process outside of we're EA and Yamamuchi made us mad back in '98, so we still don't like y'all. I don't I don't know I don't know where this mindset's coming from. Because aren't y'all supposed to be a greedy corporation? Ain't you supposed to love money? <laughs> and then and then they make a move that would really not give them much money. And like in, in Mass Effect probably isn't going to penetrate the Japanese market much on anything mm-hmm. outside of Nintendo. Nah. I mean it may it may be on it may be on Sony, maybe. I, I don't I don't know. Mm-hmm. Not much. But I don't yeah, like you said, I don't I don't know. You know how much it would. I mean, I don't see that. Uh, oh, uh, another another thing. Um, how do you feel about that report that uh, Microsoft's been trying to buy out some Japanese developers? I'm not shocked. Again, this is about penetrating the Japanese market. It is one of the biggest markets in gaming, and, and they have no foothold. They whatsoever. have none. There. <laughs> they really don't have any there. That's why Ori. And Cuphead ended up on the Switch. Yeah. They, they sold well on the Switch over there. Yep. With, uh, Xbox. Which is, why, which is why I know, Ryan, uh, I, I know uh, Phil Spencer said that um, he wasn't going to put no more, that like, we need to stop talking about stuff like that. But, dude, you know you're going to do it. You know you're gonna do it. You ain't going. It, it's you ain't gonna have no choice. You're gonna do it. It's what makes the most sense. That's why they should have put Rare Replay on the Switch. Yeah. Yeah. It it, it makes the most sense, but I mean, because when you really think about it, if they would have asked what get, people would have said, Rare Replay. Oh yeah, no, they would have said Rare, Rare Replay, Replay hand down. Because Rare Replay encompasses a lot of games, so you you definitely would have heard Rare Replay. And possibly uh KI. Yeah, Killer Instinct. Yeah, possibly KI. But I just thought it was funny just seeing that because I know um Microsoft's been on a on a on a spending spree lately to the point that's kind of like I don't want to say it's weird <laughs> because I don't know how much return you plan on getting if you still hadn't shown no game from any of these people you bought. Yeah, that's the problem. Like, I, I, we don't. Yeah, you can buy them all up, but if they ain't putting nothing out, it's still not doing you no good, and you just wasted money. I mean, and it, then on top of that, coupled with your issues you're having with your own teams, like with three four three and rare, when you mm. got directors just up and leaving, just quitting. Like not not, and and it's not it's on some. We don't know if it's on some like Me Too or speaking out um, movement stuff. They just up and leaving because I think the it was a lady at uh, Rare that up and left. So we like, okay, what in the world is going on? <laughs> but then again, every every while, I didn't nobody know what that was anyway. <laughs> and it's even worse is that the people aren't even waiting until their major releases happen. <laughs> they just they leaving before it's going well before they're finished. So yeah. Which makes no sense. So, unless it's like hell of five creative differences, which I, that could That's be the case. Yeah, it could be creative differences. I don't know. Um, I don't know how you have creative differences on Halo because y'all three four three y'all done did the last three. 
So what the hell is the creative difference? <laughs> Depends on look. Depends on somebody wants to bring it back to the original direction Halo is going. Yeah. And if somebody is like, "No, nah, we're still trudging this way. We want to do it this way," and you're just gonna have to deal with it. And they yeah. say, "Yeah, no, nah, I'm not. Bye." Yeah, because um, unfortunately, Retro is hiring, and um, I know, I, and I love Metroid anyway, so. <laughs> this thing like, like Retro the- is hiring everybody, dude. Like, hey, hey, uh, hold on, you just got fired. You left. You want to come work for us? Like, oh, you you left what what series were you? Were? Halo. Halo. Hey, we got we got room over here. We is it, is it three Wait cubicles in the back? <laughs> three, three cubes in the back. Yeah, yeah, three cubes in the back. <laughs> left side, left side. Yeah, three cubes in the back. Just just go back there. It's like, <laughs> oh, like how y'all hire? Where y'all getting all this money from? How y'all hiring all these people, man? <laughs> but but hey, people say Nintendo's broke. Yeah, even though they got what is it, ten billion in cash. That's not counting their properties. Yeah, even though they do still love those um those love hotels. <laughs> um, yeah. So Nintendo is for kids. Play no more until Heroes they, One and Two. <laughs> Nintendo is for kids until they're not. Yeah. <laughs> Nintendo is for kids. Play no more Heroes One and Two. No, <laughs> available now. Oh, uh, it's if they still for kids. <laughs> Oh, I love that game, man. That that game is awesome. Okay, so um, I'm glad that we finally had some stuff on uh, No More Heroes three. But I kind of, I'm kind of a little worried, man. I'm, I'm a little worried because uh, 2021 looking like I'm gonna have to make some 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 decisions. Because <laughs> uh, so it's like Nintendo got 2021 set up for a bunch of releases that people are going to be sitting there like, man, how am I spending all this money? Yeah, <laughs> cause something going, something's not getting bought. Stuff is not gonna get bought, and um, I, I'm I'm scared that they're gonna cannibalize themselves. I'm just scared of that, cause I was just looking at the the. Th- there's mm-hmm. nothing coming out in January, but uh, February has Bravely Default. March has uh, Monster Hunter Rise, and we're not even talking about nothing else yet. I'm pretty sure that something's coming out in April and May. That's right before E3, and E3 is supposed to have something next year. I don't know what, but it's supposed to do something, whether it's virtual or not. They're gonna do something. So, I I just think now I think they're gonna wind up cannibalized. Something's gonna get cannibalized. Oh yeah. Well, people will say uh, there's there's nothing that Nintendo can do with new consoles coming out on the market. Uh, does the Switch still? Uh, are you still able to carry the Switch to the DMV when you got to wait in line? Yeah, they'll be all right. I think they'll be all right. I think they'll be a okay. Why do you think Microsoft has said, "Oh, well, we can with X Cloud, you can put it on your phone"? That's not the same as a Switch, bro. <laughs> That's just not. The and same. and and they they selling like eighty dollar controllers through yeah. their service. Now, the one that does open up and and clip onto the size of your phone, I like that idea. Yeah. But it's just like having the Joy Cons. Yeah. So. Yeah, but that, that's the thing. I'm I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, th- Nintendo's going to be just fine just because their system actually fits a need. Yep. So if you, are a, if you are a parent and you're on a road trip and the kids getting on your damn nerves, play this and leave your sister alone. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, actually, they got a few different uh, controllers for mobile. They got their... Their mobile controller looks just like an Xbox One controller. Mm-hmm. That's seventy bucks. Then they got the one I talked about. That's a hundred bucks. That's a hundred. I thought it was. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. And then they got yeah. one that yeah, looks like the. Uh, then they got one that looks like a Super Nintendo slash Wii Classic controller. That's forty five bucks. So, so I mean, hey. I mean. If if I'm eight if I'm eight bit though I'm mad because I could have made some new controls. <laughs> Coulda. Yeah. Or or, or what is it PDP that makes third party controllers? PDP. Uh, Power A. I know Power, Power A does. PDP Power A and uh, Moga. Yeah, Moga. And uh, and eight bit though. Yeah. Whatever happened to Wildcats? 
I mean, they, their controls were trash, Bad but cats. whatever happened? Yeah. <laughs> what happened to that, them? That's what happened to them. They did controls were garbage. <laughs> you, you talking about the because yours if you ever you talk about uh drift, y'all don't know what drift <laughs> is until you uh, had a bad cat controller. <laughs> those things would drift horribly. You you could get like a, a good month, maybe and two that's months. It. That's it. Out of them controllers. <laughs> And I and that, that's why I ended up learning how to fix my controllers because of theirs. Yeah, <laughs> you, had to, you had to take the back out, and because one one of mine, I just had to take the back out, pop the joystick out, and just reposition it, mm-hmm. and then pop the back back on, and then it was it'd be fine for like another three weeks. <laughs> so yeah, it, yeah, y'all y'all complaining about drift now? Woo, y'all y'all can y'all would not have loved the end of the nineties, early two thousands. Y'all just wouldn't have. I know y'all would have hated him. <laughs> would have straight up hated him. Because everybody didn't make to like your your company. Yeah, they had the company controllers, but most times it took a while for those to, to hit production and hit out. So you had to work with third parties if you didn't have the ones that came in the box. Because most times you, two came in the box, then yeah. the then the uh, six gen happened and it was only one. <laughs> Yeah. Like, nah, you're going to have to buy the rest of these. I didn't and, realize that they had had a, a a Duke controller for the Xbox One. They had a Duke controller for the um, N64, remember? Yeah, I know, but I'm talking, uh, about, I'm talking about the Xbox Duke controller. There's a uh, version for the Xbox One. I didn't know that that happened. I didn't know that either. Huh. Well, just, don't, don't they have that? Uh, don't they have that that customization portal where you can like just customize your own Xbox controller? Don't yeah. they have that? Yeah, and those <laughs> are like eighty bucks to get one of those. Yeah, which that sounds cool, but I would actually want some other stuff on that other than just changing colors. So, I mean, you can change the color, the casing, add your own little engraved uh, name on it, or whatever you want to do. Yeah. And I still might wind up getting one. I would want a customizable uh, Elite controller with my name insignia, insignia in bold letters with the words Legend of Zelda for life on it. <laughs> I mean, look, if you if you do it right, you can even, like, if you did it right, you can even put, like, a Triforce symbol on your controller. Yeah. I'm pretty, sure my, from the... <laughs> I'm pretty sure my Sierra Sakura already has, like, three of those. <laughs> I doubt he doesn't. Man, I'm still mad about his setup when he showed us his setup in that last um, that Steve Dur- I'm like, God, I hate you so much sometimes. <laughs> like, why you gotta be showing off, man? Like, you ain't gotta show off, man. Oh, yeah, I got two TVs side by side because I play on one of them and just bullshit on the other one. <laughs> like, really, bro? <laughs> really, bro? <laughs> Even though I'm pretty sure Nintendo's gonna have to force him to go on vacation after um the second fighter pass is done. He probably said that not talking about what are those projects you got me working on. Nothing. <laughs> I gotta do something. Your next project is going on vacation. <laughs> yeah. That that's your next project. Your DLC <laughs> pass is you going your DLC is for you to go on vacation. That's your DLC. <laughs> You need like, to be working your, on. That, that's your that's your project. <laughs> take your ass home. Don't let me see you around this office. Don't let me catch you in Bandai Namco office. Don't let me catch you in Sony's office. Don't let me catch you. <laughs> don't let me catch you in Sega's office. Like man, Jeez, just take, take your ass home and rest. Jeez. Just do that for us. Watch he gonna he gonna be like when they do the kid because I'm pretty sure they're gonna probably do a kid Icarus on Switch. It's gonna be him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be I'm like, come on, dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, that's gonna happen. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I, I would be surprised if it didn't. Just saying, I mean, it'll be. I'll be highly surprised if it didn't. All right, so before we get out of here, man, I do want to talk about that. Uh, the the fallacy of storage, and the reason why I want to bring that up is because. I hate, I hate, I hate that you buy a terabyte console and all you're getting is 500 gigs because <laughs> your OS is that big. Then one game, Call of Duty, 
is 285 gigs. Now, yep. to Act credit, to Activision's credit, they did say that they're going to offer um, where you could um, buy either the campaign mode or the multiplayer mode. Which, okay, that's cool. That's cool. That'll uh, significantly drop that. But shouldn't look, you can get a two terabyte hard drive now for under 60 bucks. Yeah. You can't tell me y'all couldn't put a two terabyte hard drive in the PS5 and the Xbox series. Is, series is, is, is. <laughs> they could have, but those wouldn't have been SSDs. Fuck me. Okay, so <laughs> so okay, okay. So you put the one you put you put the one with the SSDs in. Okay, fine. I, I'll meet you halfway. But those little, uh, especially Microsoft, those little terabyte they need to be two terabytes yeah they do and not one one terabyte ain't gonna get it man <laughs> one terabyte is not getting it with these 4k enhanced visuals or not they're not it's not gonna get it no it's it just not gonna get it and I'm like i'm trying to figure out what the hell is in your os that your os is that big taking up that well, much space well sony showed most of theirs so yeah. I can I can kind of understand why theirs is so big, but we still haven't really been shown all of Microsoft. And Microsoft, you would think theirs wouldn't be that big because uh, Windows 10 don't take up that much space. So what else you putting on there? And if you if you coming in there saying, okay, well they put in Netflix and th- that should be up to the consumer. That should yeah. not be that should not be hard. That should be, if you want any app should be up to the consumer. So if you want to put apps on there, fine, fine. But you need to pick that, not them they shouldn't put all that stuff on there and be like hey we already got it set up for you no because that's killing your space and unfortunately nowadays um anything you buy new is smart so if you buy a blu-ray player smart it's already smart they don't sell dumb um tvs and blu-ray players and anything anymore they don't sell dumb phones the majority of them are smart now you can still get the track phones but yep the what I'm talking about, they, the majority of phones, and that's a small number. The majority of phones are all smart, so all that stuff already comes with it. So I don't know, and you're gonna have to get a new TV to play these. So you can't say that, oh well, I I can't watch Netflix. I want to be able to watch Netflix on my gaming console. If you buy one of these new consoles, you have a new TV, and your new TV comes with all that. Yep. So, um, I don't I don't know what your what the thought process is on that, but I, I'm just like the, you, you're killing me with these with the space, and because you're not you you don't have a true terabyte, you don't have a true terabyte. So if you don't have a true terabyte, then and I'm, and I haven't heard this or not, so nobody has confirmed yet or not. I'm hoping that we can plug in external hard drives. I I'm think hoping. they said you you can, but if you impl- if you plug in an external hard drive, a non SSD, you can only play the older games off of it. If you put new games on it, you'll have to move them to the SSD in the console before you can play them. Yeah, I'll just yeah, I'm gonna wait till they patch that. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait till they patch that. I'm just gonna wait till they patch that. Yeah, I'm not no. Mm-mm. That that's why Microsoft got those uh those two hundred dollar terabyte SSDs <laughs> that you can yeah. purchase, and Sony is letting people swap out the one that comes internally in the um, PS4. You can still swap out the one in the Xbox Series S yes, and do. X, yeah. but you but I think it's a little bit more complicated to do so. Yeah, because the way it's, the, it's how it's sitting, mm. it's how it's sitting in there. So yeah. It, it it's how your how it sits. So yeah, I I don't know what to think about that. Um, personally, I'm just like you know what, it man. Um, yeah, I don't I, I don't know what to think, but I'm probably just gonna I'm just gonna wait. I'm just, I'm just gonna wait. So yeah, wait for stuff to be cheaper. Yeah, that's all I can do because I'm like, because they'll probably, like I said, it's probably gonna get once the beta testers are done, <laughs> they'll probably they'll probably make a lot of, you know, 
You know if you buy this stuff off top, you a beta tester. Don't even get mad or offended by that. Um, <laughs> just you already know that. I was look. I was a beta tester last year. I was a beta tester for the PS4 and the Xbox One. So I, I'm caught. I, I was a beta tester. I was. So if you if you get this in November, you are a beta tester. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just what it is. So yeah, um, no, no offense meant. No offense, um meant but that's just the truth so i'm just gonna i'm think i'm still gonna just be on my my weight game for this because I, I just i know they're gonna fix that i know they're gonna they're gonna try to find a way to address that because that's not gonna cut it mm. that, that's just not gonna cut it with people um i don't see how that is it's, oh man because you that means you gotta take stuff off that um hard drive yep so, two hundred and eighty-five gigs for Call of Duty, bro. Two hundred eighty-five, two hundred eighty-five gigs, bro. <laughs> one game. Yep, that one game. I was yeah. tripping about ninety <clears throat> gigs. Two hundred eighty-five gigs. But look, but people sitting here wondering why Nintendo hasn't pushed to to reach those higher levels of um. Pixels gonna, yet? Well, well, they're not gonna have bloated, bloated stuff in, and they stuff anyway. No, but it's not gonna be you, bloated, so I don't expect none of theirs to be that big. Well, like, even still, like people are trying to get them to rush to larger sizes of storage oh. when they don't need it, yeah. and it's cheaper for them to not do it. But, why would I spend money when I'm making money? Doing stuff that I'm making money, and people are enjoying my product. And and I'm doing stuff creatively, and it's not killing me. Mm. It's not. I'm like, all the people that's gonna that's hating on Hyrule Warriors now are still gonna buy that. Just like you don't get Breath of the Wild too, because you want to know how the story ends. Yep. <laughs> so that that's just where we're at now. I it's just it's just weird. It's just weird. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our episode tonight i do have a couple of gaming uh stuff on the gaming channel so check out torchlight 3 and i also put up uh, code of princess ex y'all are gonna hate me for this but <laughs> uh but understand i did not draw any character in there so don't get mad at me get mad at somebody in japan so <laughs> i didn't draw no characters in this this ain't got nothing to do with me i just like the game because it's hilarious to me but that being said, I do have those coming up next week. I'm going to try to get a Let's Talk done for uh, No More Heroes 1 and 2. Um, working out some final scheduling uh, issues with that one. And um, that's pretty much what I got coming. Uh, Andre, what do you got that you want to pimp out? I just got my normal videos and hopefully the stuff that I'm putting out people find interesting. But that's it. Just yep, my normal uh, stuff. Yep, just trademark that. And um. <laughs> And that's going to be it for... I, I this. should put a TM at the end of each one of my videos now. You just at the end of the name. <laughs> just to mess with people. Just to mess with people. Do it just to mess with people. Oh, man. That would be hilarious. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It will be out on um, Anchor and Google Podcasts and Spotify and all that stuff no later than Tuesday. Uh, so check us out there as well if you just want the audio version. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Wakanda forever. Peace, everybody.